Good morning, Chuck here in Richmond, Texas, back at our friend Apple's house. I'm headed back over to my mom's place in Magnolia this morning. I broke a belt on the mower yesterday. I broke the blades the other. The problem is, is this yard needs a lot of attention, but the county a few years ago dug out my mom's ditches a little deeper, so it makes it difficult to mow. So the grass is really high. So I'm having, and they randomly come out maybe two or three times a year and mow the ditch, which they're responsible for the ditch. So I'm trying to knock it down. I tell my mom, don't worry about it. Let it grow back up. We're gonna try to sell the place. I just want somebody to come look at the property while it's cleaned up. So I'm headed to Home Depot to get that. I made a video and I'm gonna be making a video sharing my process of returning to Thailand. So it's very difficult to share information on the internet about how to do things in Thailand, mainly because everybody has different experiences and sometimes they clash in the comment section. So know this, everybody's scenario is gonna be different and your needs, the way you do things are gonna be based on your needs, right? So. I'm only sharing, like I've said probably many times so far in these last couple of videos, that I'm only sharing our experience and that's it. So a lot of people try to give me helpful stuff. That's awesome. And sometimes I really do appreciate that. And sometimes it's, they're giving me information based on, on their needs. So I, I'm gonna tell you guys a couple of things that have been asked a lot. Why is my wife coming back to Thailand on her US passport? Excellent question. I guess maybe I didn't make it clear enough. Um, so normally what we do is, when my wife is a US citizen, she has a US passport. So normally how this works is we come to America with, a US, with her US passport. When she returns to Thailand, she shows the immigration her Thai passport and she enters Thailand as a Thai citizen. The immigration knows she has two passports because the airline has to see both passports also. Anyway, so because of the certificate of entry form that you have to fill out and you have to have the certificate of entry in order to enter Thailand, it has to match the name on the airline ticket. So of course we buy the ticket with the US name because she's using the US passport. And so this is something, the only thing we, we could have done around this is she could have got a one-way ticket to America and a one-way ticket back to Thailand. So I know, I know somebody's thinking right now, we could always just cancel the return flight and buy a one-way ticket and use her Thai name. Yes, correct. Here's my other dilemma. Paige got her vaccination here, which is in her American name. So to make things even more confusing for Thai people, because God forgive it, God forbid, we don't want to make it confusing for the person that's going to receive the information, right? It has to be simple. The name is not going to be recognizable compared to her Thai passport. So anyway, to fix this problem, when we return to Thailand, Paige is actually gonna get her name changed. Cause I told her, we had this discussion a long time ago if she wanted to change her name in Thailand. I said, no, just keep your Thai name, it's fine. Because in the future too, if there's any legality problems with real estate or, or stuff like that that's in the family's name, but she said, now it, it doesn't matter. It'll be fine. We don't have to worry about that. But either way, we're going to get her name changed in Thailand and it'll match what's on the, not only that, but she wants to get, every time we come home, she gets an international driver's license or driver's permit. And we think, okay, you're going to get your license when we get back, but it's in her American name. And anyway, enough confusion of that but the reason why we she's coming back with her u.s passport is because the certificate of entry has to match that so i just did the second process of the certificate of entry today the only problem i see that might happen is she's got a one-way ticket to america just a regular it's normally 30-day entry visa on arrival visa but now they're doing 45 days so we're thinking 
when they ask the, the ticket information for her it says one way they may come back and say oh you need to we need to know when you're leaving and how you're leaving so for me it's okay because i have a long-term visa so anyway in that case we'll just have to book another little ticket for her to go somewhere but tickets nowadays you can extend for a year so we'll we'll figure that out, out as we go but it's a little complex we knew it was going to be complicated but my scenario is not going to be like yours but i've had a lot of people send me emails talking about their thai wives what kind of problems are they going to have but if they if they're using their thai passport for the certificate of entry it's not it's not a problem they don't have to worry about getting a visa yes we completely understand about the 90-day check-ins and the whole thing that comes along with entering Thailand as a as an American or as a as a foreigner, right? So we we've, we've got it well thought out. Also, the insurance people were asking me about the insurance. I have really good insurance in Thailand, but it doesn't cover 3.5 million baht for the year. That's excessive in Thailand. Like that's a you don't really need that huge of a policy to live in Thailand because there's that's a major catastrophe if you've got a 3.5 million baht bill in a hospital. I think it's under a million baht just if you have a major heart attack. So anyway, I had to get the I had to get the insurance for the duration of my visa, which expires whatever the expiration date on the visa. That's how long the insurance has to be. So if you've only got a 45 day on arrival visa then it has to be for that so if you got a one year visa coming in whatever it is on the date when that certificate of entry crap ends that'll go away and of course there's rumors that it's going to drop down to 50 thousand but we're doing it now and that's what the scenario is now so i'm just basically out 450 dollars for me and 150 dollars for my wife so i already knew it was going to be stupid money the insurance actually is pretty good the traveler's insurance but like any other insurance i've i've rarely in my lifetime had to use insurance for for stuff like that anyway that's what's happening i'm headed to lowe's i'm sure there'll be a lot more questions on the way bear with me um, i hope it, oh i want to tell you and i was going to tell you when i get the when i get it all approved the coe and i yeah i have that much confidence it's going to happen it actually only took two days to get the first approval on the part one of the certificate of entry confirmation so a lot of people say oh i looked at the website and it says 15 days but if you're going through you have to do it online and if you read it it says three days for part one and three days for part two of course some people it's taken a lot longer than that like two weeks so we'll just see what happens if they're okay with all of the paperwork then uh yeah we had a little bit of issues with the hotel i'll tell you guys on the next video about that but it ain't worked out yet but hopefully it gets worked out anyway off to uh home depot Oh, one more thing about I also shared on my Bank of America the thumb drive the security key thumb drive that now Bank of America is requiring me to have it used to have a one pass card that you use that had a code that changes all the time There's a lot of people I knew this was going to happen they said to get a new VP what is it a VPN or there's a, applications you can use to keep your American number this and that well here's my thought and I've tried to use the VPN before and it wouldn't work on certain things because they have a pretty good security setup, I guess. But here's my thinking on that. Uh, my bank says this is how you transfer money overseas. You have to have this security key. Before it was, you know, the card, the one pass card. Why? why try to sneak around and say okay because the other option is just it's easy you just get a when you go to do a transfer they send you a code via message uh, a message on a phone number and then you type in the code but why screw around and maybe that application doesn't work anymore or something changes 
why not just get the key because the key is easy like you just plug it in your computer and you touch it and that's then you can send send your money overseas versus being overseas something not working and then trying to figure out how to get it to work i don't understand that concept i'm just going to do when it comes to transferring money i'm just going to do whatever the bank wants me to do or i have to just get an actual us number which i don't i don't need the us number i don't want to pay whatever service it is to have that number because i don't nobody calls me on my Thai number anyway so i'm just gonna only do what makes sense to me and you guys only do what makes sense to you when it de when it comes to dealing with your finances and your your way of of handling your business okay because it's what makes sense to you might not make sense to everybody else and a lot of things that i do don't make sense to somebody so but that's okay only do what works it's such a beautiful day here i am it's not even halloween yet and they're getting ready for uh for christmas yay my mom's weed eater sucks <laughs> It's just a little single string electric weed eater. And I hate to buy another one because everything we buy at the moment, we're gonna have to get rid of. So actually this one's cheap and it looks like it's a little bit better. It's only 30 bucks, four amp, but it looks a lot better than the one that she has. And it's a two string. That's actually cheap. I could just buy it. My mom's not going to use it again. Maybe she will or not. I can just give it to a friend or something. That's a little bit better. But I don't want one that's cordless because I don't know how long it'll last with, uh, with her yard. I don't know. I'll look around. All right. Got it belt was $42 the the blades I had to replace the other day were almost $60 <laughs> I was gonna get the weed eater but luckily I took it out of the box because it was only a single string a string so I decided uh, I'll just use the one that she's got and deal with it but it was cheap but I don't feel like looking around anymore so yeah Beautiful day. Nice, beautiful suburb area. Right now we are pretty much like southwest part of Houston, of downtown Houston anyway. Good morning. You look a lot better this like you're getting around a lot better this morning, huh? I am. Since the uh well what'd you give me? I don't remember. Oh. My mom was getting a little dizzy, so Paige gave her some drama mean. Drama mean. <laughs> I feel better. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, it's stupid car.
Well, I'm finished. I think I'm going to have to buy a new weed eater because that one's horrible. So they're pretty cheap. They're only like 50 bucks for a weed eater. So this one that she has is like a three, it's a three and a half amp. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's really small. So I'll, uh, I'll, I think I saw one at like a six amp. So well, what's that mean? It goes faster. It's just a bigger, uh, bigger, bad, I mean, a bigger watt. A bigger motor a bigger electric motor so anyway the belt worked out we got a lot of stuff done today got a lot I got a, the weed eating thing is just it's too much of a challenge I got the backyard done and uh, we find we got a hold of a realtor yay yay real nice lady she actually sold my aunt's house a couple of streets down the road so uh, yeah, she's going to try to come out this week and evaluate it. And if things go well, we might be on the fast track to paradise. Hallelujah. So, you know, my mom's got some, you know, this is all new to her because this really wasn't the plan to go to Thailand. The plan was to just take this house down and build another house. But I don't think that's going to work. The property's too much, huh? It is too much. It's big. Yeah. It's a corner acre. Anybody want to buy it? <laughs> <laughs> I think all my peeps are trying to get rid of their stuff, too, if they haven't already. That's wonderful. <laughs> but anyway, That's we're good. just, you know, this is all new to her, so she's got a lot of questions. But I think she feels okay that she knows that I'm going to help her oh, wonderful. along the way, right? You're not just going to, like, I'm not going to throw you to the soy dogs well you know? that's good that's very <laughs> encouraging but anyway i was asking her what her biggest fear right now and her biggest fear was the fact that i guess it's the language barrier the language and she said that she's afraid of being taken advantage of but but you said everybody's happy. most everything has price tags on it you know and you'll kind of get an idea of what's what and it may take a while but it'll be It'll be fine. You don't talk to anybody here anyway, so. No. <laughs> what difference does it make? I'll teach you a couple of words. A lot of Thai people can speak. A lot. I, I'll tell you this. Most everybody who goes to Thailand does not speak Thai. Almost all of them. So the couple of little words that you can, it's just going to be like a courtesy thing, you know. So uh, don't worry about that stuff. So anyway. That's what's happening today. I'm tired. I've inhaled a bunch of dust <laughs> and smoke. So I've got to come back tomorrow, fix a roof leak, and take care of some wiring issues. So yeah, exciting stuff. We'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Say bye, Mom. Bye. We can't end the video without saying hello and goodbye to Paige. So let's get home. I think Paige is cooking me a Thai meal right now. How awesome is that? I wanted to tell you one thing that my mom did ask me was that what did Paige and her family think about this whole deal? Which is a good question, right? Because she wants to make sure that she's not going to cause any problems. So I told her that in Thai culture, family comes first. Family comes before anything. Anytime that I've ever told Paige that, hey, my mom's got to come stay with us. When we lived here, my mom stayed with us for a little bit. She never said anything. She knows it's just, it is, it's what has to be done. And, uh, you know, this whole thing, my mother-in-law invited my mom to come move to Thailand a couple of times. I don't know how that would work with her being in top and if she would like that or not. Probably not. I don't know. But, um, you know, Paige, has, she knows what has to be done, right? Because uh, family, family comes first and Paige, I don't know, Paige is awesome. It's not going to be a problem. And uh, we, we've got to, we've got to just do what we've got to do when it comes to family. So yeah, let's go see Paige. There she is, Mrs. Hey. Wonderful. And other Mrs. Wonderful. <laughs> Look what Paige, did you make this bag? Yeah. Wow, that is awesome. Mm -hmm. Very cool.
Mm. Okay, guys, I'm tired, hungry, and need a shower. Mm, yeah. We'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.